Hello, my wonderful friends. Woody here. Ever pondered why the diligent and dedicated often fail to ascend the corporate ladder? Today, we delve into this perplexing issue to uncover the seven reasons why hardworking employees don't get promoted. First, consider the predicament of the indispensable employee. They are the go-to person, the one who has mastered their current role to such an extent that management cannot envision them in another position. Their excellence becomes their trap, hindering their progress rather than fostering it. Next we encounter the Peter Principle. Named after Lawrence J. Peter, this principle posits that employees tend to rise to their level of incompetence. In other words, people are promoted based on their performance in their current role, not on their ability to perform in the prospective one. This often leads to competent employees being overlooked for promotions. An organization's culture also plays a crucial role in determining who gets promoted. Some organizations value compliance over independence, favoring those who follow orders without question over those who think outside the box. This inclination stifles the progress of innovative independent thinkers. I work in law, but I also have degrees in computer science, information systems, business administration, data analytics, and economics. I work in law, and so more often than not, if I offer my help in another area, the response will be, I hired you to litigate, not work on troubleshooting our computers, regression analysis, and statistical forecasting. The fourth reason revolves around insecurity. Bosses threatened by competent employees may resist promoting them to prevent potential competition. This scenario underlines the importance of emotional intelligence in the workplace. I myself possess two associate's degrees, three bachelor's degrees, three master's degrees, and a Juris Doctor degree in law. This often irritates would-be employers who tend to ridicule my educational background because we live in a competitive society. And the fact that I am debt-free with this much education rubs potential bosses the wrong way. Bias is, a, is another significant factor. Hiring biases based on age, image, or insider status can obstruct deserving employees from advancing. Whether conscious or unconscious, these biases create an uneven playing field, favoring certain individuals over others. The sixth reason is favoritism. It's an unfortunate reality that some bosses may promote employees with similar interests or social habits, regardless of their competence. This practice can demoralize hardworking employees and foster a toxic work environment. I was once passed over for a legal role at an insurance company because a married supervisor was engaging in infidelity with my coworker and pushed management to give this woman the job. She did not know more than me, but our supervisor knew her in the biblical sense. Lastly, extracurricular activities can impact promotions within the workplace. Employees who participate in office events or engage in networking activities outside of office hours often have a higher chance of promotion. Those who focus solely on their work may find themselves overlooked. Woody here, hoping this has been another helpful video. Have a good one, my friends. In conclusion, we've explored the seven reasons why hardworking employees often don't get promoted. Being too indispensable, the Peter Principle, valuing compliance over independence, managerial insecurity, hiring biases, favoritism, and the impact of extracurricular activities. 
It's important to remember that these factors can vary greatly from one workplace to another. However, recognizing these potential obstacles can better equip employees to navigate their professional growth and ascend the corporate ladder. Remember, hard work is essential, but it isn't the only ingredient for success. Understanding the dynamics of your workplace and adapting accordingly can make the difference between remaining static and rising to new heights.